talk about Destiny, the Taken King. Yes, so again. This is, but now that it's out, I think. Is it? It's out. Yeah, it's out. It came out last Tuesday. So okay. Destiny Taken King is the most recent expansion, and I'd say it's probably... Uh, it was by far the biggest expansion we've gotten as of yet. Not quite as big as the original Destiny game, but still pretty darn big. Came at a price tag of $60. If you had never gotten it, you get Destiny, Vanilla, uh, Dark Below, and House of Wolves, plus Taken King. If you'd already had it, you could just pay $40 for it. Or if you're like me, you pay $20 more and get special dance emotes. Yeah. So twenty more dollars yeah. for like twenty more dollars on top of the forty, so buy mm-hmm. a whole other game. So mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. but I also got you get exotic armor and you get a lot of other things, but Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Your little microtransactions, right? Just all yes, at once. I, micro, I, d- I did Your it, macro I micro transactions. Right? Dude, you can do an MC hammer dance, all right? And I think that's awesome. Did <laughs> <you> play <laughs> the music? <laughs> no, I wish they did. They they, they don't, but but so Taken King, it tells the story of Oryx. He is pretty much the king of the hive, as far as I can tell. Um, he comes to, to, to our solar system, the whole Milky Way galaxy. or the, What's our solar system called? Soul? It depends on who you ask, but yeah, you could call it Soul if you want. Some, That's what I'm going to call it then. Some things have called uh, it that. <laughs> but uh, so yeah, so he comes to our, our neck of the woods because we killed his son. Yep, we did that. All his guardians did that. So... That's where everything comes off, and he's uh, he's a he's a nasty guy. No, now, son, this you mean is... his biological son, not his like planetary son, right? Yeah, kind of. I, I don't know how their biology works, but I would guess. It would no, I'm just saying because we were talking about solar systems. I wasn't sure if we're we're talking about we just destroyed his his like you oh, know, no, the no, sun no, at the no, center no. of his yeah, solar yeah, system. Yeah, yeah. We, we destroyed his 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 little kid. Yeah, we'll do, I guess. Okay. Um, I guess I don't know which one's worse. One's more personal. The other destroys an entire solar system. Yeah, but, we didn't yeah. destroy an entire solar system. But uh, yeah, so they've the, some of the big changes you're going to get from Taken King from the other iterations of Destiny is they've really amped up the story, it feels like. They really focused on making sure you know exactly what's going on and why, and you know what they know. In the original Vanilla Destiny, a lot of what you could figure out was you collect these dead ghosts, you get your Grimoire Scar, and you had to go through and read all these little things that a lot of people don't even know how to get to. So (laughs) it's like a lot of the story was kind of buried in the original Destiny. In this one, they're really bringing it to the forefront. They're telling you what's going on, why, how, everything, all, all this great stuff all rolled in one. And the way they're doing it is by really vamping up the voice acting. Now, there is a ton of great voice acting in the original Destiny. Now, they have switched over the ghost from Peter Dinklage to Nolan North. Uh, He's been in other games like uh, Uncharted. I believe he was uh, the main character voice in Left, uh, Left, uh, The Last of Us, sorry. And so he's a great voice actor. I kind of miss Peter Dinklage, but eh, I'll get used to it. It's not that big of a deal. But the one who really, really shines is Nathan Fillion. You might know him from Firefly or Mm. Castle as he does now. And he was a voice actor. He was originally in the first one. He was a Vanguard character, which are, you have three mentors for your three different classes. He was one of those mentors, but you really didn't hear him say anything. He really didn't say much at all. He wasn't part of the story. And this time he's a very, very strong part of the story. Pretty much all the characters that were just floating around your main area that you really had not, you didn't know anything about, you know, them now you hear, hear their voices. You can connect the voice to who they are. So they've really ramped up uh, with the story. The voice acting is amazing, so it tells the story excellently, and I'm really happy with that. Another thing that they've done is they've kind of moved everything over to a quest system. So you get a whole bunch of quests, and it's like, okay, do this step, do this step, do this step, do this step. And that's fun because you can have a ton of quests going at the same time. Um, Some are on the same plan, so you can go knock out two or three quests at one time. And it's a cool way of just giving you piece by piece uh, of the, the the new story, or this is how you get a new exotic weapon, or this is how you get mm-hmm. better armor, and it, it flows very very well. And they have also rebalanced all the weapons; they're all totally different. So uh, it sounds like the they're values. it sounds like they're trying to adopt more MMO features, like make it more like other MMOs in that sense. Maybe yeah, the quest the, the system. Quest anyway. Yeah, yeah, it really realizes the MMO 
part of uh, Destiny. Um, and so, yeah, like I said, voice acting is great. Gameplay and level design is spectacular as always. I wouldn't expect anything less from Destiny. They give you these really crazy, unique, but immersive environments. They're good at hiding stuff all over these places. I mean, you pretty much have a whole new huge area to roam around with the T Taken King. So that's really cool. But they also are good at kind of recycling older environments. Some of the story missions will take you into older environments that, and they'll take you to different places that you haven't been in those environments. So it's good at not only keeping what you have strong, but giving you a lot of good new content. So, I mean, with all the new additions, the revamping of the older systems, really this is, I'm loving it. I'm, I'm in heaven. I was a big Destiny fan to begin with. I love the way the old game played, but the way this new game plays just seems like they've just taking it to the next level. So if you are a Destiny fan and you, you gave up on it for a while for whatever reason, understandably so, come on back. You can jump right in and have a good time. But if you are a brand new player, they really encourage you to come on in. They give you the tools to jump right in. And when they rebalanced everything, it kind of made everybody not quite start from square zero, but uh, pretty close to it. Now, if you have been playing for a while, they do, you know, having some of these items that you would have stored up is going to help you. Uh, but all in all, whether you're a new player, you're an old player, or a player in between where you just kind of gave up for a little bit, you're going to enjoy what's going on. So uh, with the Taken King, I'm going to go ahead and give it four and a half out of five just because I've thoroughly enjoyed the game. It makes me want to keep playing for the next year, and I can't see wait to see what else comes next. I still haven't jumped into the raid, so that's its own thing. But by the way... There is now a Words from My Face clan for Destiny. So if you want to jump on there, raid with me, you know, run some Crucible, any of that, we can have a good time. Just look up uh, the it's part of the communities, look up groups and search Words from My Face and go ahead and apply. Well, you'll get right in. So I'm really Sweet. excited about Taken King. It was awesome. Uh, I really encourage everybody who has not played it to jump in. It is a time-consuming game, though. Hmm. Yeah, a lot of those, well, all MMOs are, right? So. Yeah. So, but hit us up. Let us know. Are you a fan of it? Do you like the old way better? Are you gonna jump in now that if you hadn't jumped in before? Hit us up. Let us know. Comments down below. Of course, at what's my face on Twitter, Google Plus, and Facebook. Always good ways of getting a hold of us.